Oh my God, we are bringing in another baby. I'm at Target right now. I just went in and purchasing a little bit of stuff. New baby is coming. He is only one month old. Whoa, whoa, check this out. All right, today's the day, it's happening, I'm excited. So this is out of the blue. They called me out of the blue. This little man is coming. I am cleaning, rearranging. We've got the crib. Right now I'm about to change a diaper. They, I want the same crib, so I'm super OCD, okay? So I'm trying to find this exact crib. It was donated to me months ago. I do have, it is on Amazon, but it's, it's like a, it I think it was like a two week turnaround to get it delivered. I want the same crib so I can put it there and it can all match perfectly and be very, I don't know, in line. Um, and then I'm going to be getting, go to Target, get another one of these bad boys, probably put it right next to it, get all the boxes, fill it with boxes and utilize that for their clothing, for diapers, for wipes, all of that jazz. This has been really good, it's helped me a lot, but I only have a couple hours. Um, to get all this done today. I've got this bassinet over here that if I cannot find a crib tonight, he will sleep in that just for tonight. Um, worst case, I will get a crib. I don't even think he's gonna end up being that because worst case, I'm just gonna get a, any crib for there and then I'll just return it when I get the actual one that I want, something like that. We'll figure it all out, but whoa, this is exciting. Um, this little man has an awesome story and I'm really happy to be able to provide a home for him because there wasn't one. And I'm just really happy about this. So more to come, more to come, more to come. Okay, so we are going to get cribs. We're going to get a stroller. We're going to get car seat. Right now, if you guys saw my other video, I have my little hack. I am warming up my hot water for the day, put it in the thermos. That way this guy right here has, um, he has hot water all day for bottles. There is a, obviously I'm getting the Kleck uh, carve seat again because I don't want to buy, first off, I love Kleck. Second off, I don't want to buy two car seats. I want to just buy one more. So I had to find a double stroller that was compatible with the Kleck infant car seat. I did find that. It is called the Bumble Ride. Um, so it's the Bumble Ride Infant. Why don't I just like put this on the screen maybe or something like that. Infant cars, uh, stroller, double, double stroller. It is pretty hefty. It is $829. Um, but let's not talk about that right now. Okay, we are at, let's see, the pump station in Santa Monica, California. We are getting the most coolest, coolest car uh, stroller. So it's this Cybex here, and this sucker is for two, two little ones. Everything works with Kleck, so we got Kleck here, and then we're gonna put another Kleck here. This gets removed, and then the other one will go on top of it, and they'll be side by, they'll be on top of each other like that. Um, and the great thing I like about this is when you, if you only have one child for whatever reason, um, you're easily able to adapt this to a one child stroller and then, you know, you can use it for two as well. But also, God, I'm geeking out about the dumbest things. It's got this little like basket here. This totally comes out. Um, if you're only using it with one child. Um, they're hooking it up. This is amazing. I can't wait. We've got, I think four hours until he arrives. Four hours. Oh, excited. Meanwhile, little man has been passed out for probably two hours. <laughs> Life is good. All right, so we got everything. 
man i'm telling you what if you okay if you need baby products a stroller or anything hit up the pump station in santa monica they hooked it up okay so right now it's all just like here here's the stroller in my car and there's a, another part of it back there and then my kalugo stroller is in the in the truck so here's the thing like the realities are i might not always have two babies with me because you know of things like reunification and stuff like that but here bro you can go across the street he's trying to cross the street but he's looking at his cell phone um and um so I'm gonna keep, obviously keep my stro my Kalugo stroller. But the cool thing is about this, it's a Cybex uh, Gazelle, is it literally can transition from a single to a double. It's really cool. So I'm kind of like, well, maybe I could sell the Kalugo and recoup some of that money, you know, type of thing. But anyway, it's all gonna, it's all working out and it's amazing. I can't wait to meet this little boy. We have, about three hours left. Um, somebody's waking up. I can hear him. I'm so excited. Go to the pump station in Santa Monica if you're getting any baby products because they hooked it up. They met. They gave me discounts on everything. They loved the fostering story and how I'm doing that and all this stuff. So I'm going to get... Oh, no. Now we're going to Target. I need to get uh, another crib. So let's do that. Oh, it's cold in LA today. Guys, we did it. There is two car seats in my car oh my god we got baby s over there and we got the new baby here oh so i got the stroller unfolded there in the back of my car right now is my original kalugo stroller um and this is the cybex here so i can't believe there are two car seats in my car <laughs> Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm going inside. So I'm going inside and I'm taking a nap. I do have a headache, um, I think just from the excitement and the rush of everything, but also because of um, I need to eat and I'm tired. I was up late last night. So I'm just, I'm gonna go inside and go to sleep. It is 3.15, 3.05 right now. He should be here in about a couple hours. So I need, I need to get some rest. All right. Oh my god, look at all this. I've got part of a stroller here, part of a stroller here. We've got part of a stroller underneath his stroller, like, and I'm pulling it all in pieces. I got the bag on my back. Look, I'm gonna roll him in here like this. And I'm gonna go and I'm gonna grab this. Don't shut, no, open. Door shutting and shit. Bring this in here like so. Okay. Then we're gonna get the click. Boom. Then we're going to my floor. Oh, buddy, you have a brother. Where are you bringing your brother in the house? Yeah, your eyes are really baggy. You look super tired, honey. You look really tired. He's, he's just so tired. All right. All right, so they are 10 minutes away. I just got the call from the social worker. I am trying to finish up these dishes. Just, I mean, social worker or not, I hate when people come over and it's a little messy. But um, she told me she's 10 minutes away. They are early by an hour and a half. Um, he is over there on his little toy, talking away like he likes to do. Um, Poor little kid. I said, oh, you know, you know, does he you know, have anything? You know, should I, do I need to bring anything down to take his stuff up? Poor kid is coming with a blanket. A blanket. I was like, don't worry. He will be very, very spoiled here. Um, it just breaks my heart. A blanket. Whatever. We got the stroller all together. This is the, the um, so the, Cy, the Cy, Cybex Giselle, Giselle S double stroller. We got it all set up. Life is good. So, all right, I gotta get, I gotta get finished. I wanna like clean up even a little bit more. <laughs> Guess what? Baby L is here. Aww.
Say hi, buddy. Oh, I know you're sleepy, honey. Baby S is sleepy. So this guy has a little bit, let me put this pacifier back in one second. Here we go. This little man has a sad story. Okay, we've got him quiet. He just wants me. So baby S literally is rocking here. He's very tired and he just wants me to, literally I'm just letting him hold my hands. I think he might be a little jealous, honestly. Um, so I wanna make sure I do a good job of showing enough attention to both of these little guys. <clears throat> So I'm gonna sit here until he kind of nods off and falls asleep because I know he just wants to take a nap. This man, I'll just say this. He came with nothing but a blanket. Um, looks like he's got an eye infection. And there's just some other things. He needs a good bath. Let's just... Okay, we just finished the bath and this is just heartbreaking. His poor little eye is oozing with pus. I am like getting the rest of my stuff together, getting baby S in the stroller, getting him in the stroller. No, I wanna feed him once before we leave. Um, and we're going right to the urgent care. Okay, that's about it for now, guys. I'll check in later after babies are in bed. We made it to Children's Hospital. We've got these guys in there. I had to stop and get a coffee and a salad because I'm super hungry. So we are walking, we're gonna check in. They didn't have any appointments, so I'm gonna walk in. They said it could be a long time, long wait, but it is worth it because this dude's eye is literally, it needs help bad. So we are at Ultimate Children's Hospital in Hollywood. All right. Okay, we are all checked in. I've got baby L here. And um, baby S as well. Baby S is past his bedtime and he's like really fussy right now. But this is the nature of it. Uh, double time. There we go, buddy. And um, you just feel, so they said there's about a 20 minute wait for the doctor. I don't have an appointment, so I expected I'd have to wait. But um, yeah, we did his weight and his height, and that's that. I'm a little sleepy. All right. All right, so we're walking out of here and we're walking out of here and Baby S doesn't want to be in his stroller anymore. He did have a lot of gas and he farted on me twice. Um, so that's a thing. But I don't blame him because it's like 9, 9, 10 p.m. Usually he's asleep right now. So he's just fussy. He needs to get to bed. So we're going to go home, get him to bed. We got everything taken care of so far with baby L. And um, we're going home. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we are back home. It is 10.45 p.m. Baby S is asleep. Uh, baby L is here. And um, we did figure out what was wrong with him, why he needed to be at the urgent care tonight. Um, a little sad about that, what's going on. I'm not gonna share that but um, the good news is he will be okay. He just has to heal, that's all. So right now I'm just taking care of him. Um, he's been sleeping all day. Um, even the doctor could like barely get him awake. Uh, I think, cause this even happened with baby S where he slept all night, the first night. I think it, removing children from their homes, their parents is, well, I don't think, I know it's traumatic. And just the 
the, the new people, the, all the new stuff, I think is probably tiring and exhausting for them. So I can antis anticipate that he will sleep all night, which means I'll probably get a lot of sleep. Um, I will be waking him up, obviously, because he does have to eat every two to three hours. So, you know, it'll be, it'll be, I don't know, we'll figure it all out. Um, but once he gets in the hang of things here, he will be traditional baby, you know, up every two to three hours and crying and doing all the things. Um, but um, right now he's asleep in this and I'm gonna get him out of here and feed him, change him, do all that stuff. So, man, it's been a good day. It's been a good day. You gonna eat me, buddy? You need help? I know it's hard. It's all new. It's okay. You got it. You got it. There we go. There you go, bud. You got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little man's learning to eat. Okay, so <sighs> both the kids are in the bedroom. BBL is not sleeping. He's just in a swaddle in his crib. But baby S is passed out. I I feel really good. I feel like just like this poor little boy coming into my home and he just was like he needed love. He needed love. He needed a bath. He needed to go to urgent care. He needed love. And I was like this is what foster care is about. This is what, you know, taking someone's child into your home and loving them as your own is all about. And, you know, both these boys are getting better care right now than I think they even knew was possible. So, pretty silent around here I love it um, I'm gonna go I'm gonna pick up some stuff and then pass out maybe I'll give myself until midnight just to clean and then I'll go to sleep till I'm woken up all right guys so we'll we'll check back in in the morning this guy over here baby L in the Mamaru swing he actually really likes it there's a couple things that I decided when I got him placed with me. I was going to right away get him used to the swing, and I was going to right away, um, I was going to right away uh, get him a carrier and get him used to it. Because I do know that with baby S, those are the two struggling pain points that I had, um, and I want to make sure he he is accustomed to him because I need to be able to, you know, take care of baby S. I need to be able to um, do work, clean the house, all those things. And having him strapped to me will continue to build that bond, but it'll also give me my hands to work with. So, but um, yeah, I'm actually gonna wake him up soon because I need to get him, give him a bottle. He's about to hit that two hour mark. Um, but yeah, right now things are good. Things are silent. Things are good. I'm actually typing a letter for baby ha baby S on behalf of him to uh, the court system. Something I want to address with them. And once I'm done that, which is gonna be very shortly, we'll get him his bottle. So right now things are things are good. Things are going well. So I am at Aviva right now because the kids are in the car. Don't worry, the windows are open. Um, I was getting some stuff they're giving me. Okay, let's check it out. They basically, oh God, gave me a bunch of diapers and bottles and things like that. Uh, a ton of Similac. Um, they are, uh, and we got to talking. I was talking to the director of the agency and she goes, Kevin, there's a guy named, I'll just say, well, his name is John. I won't give any other names, other details. 
He said, he called me, he's single. I think she said he's single, he's gay and black, I think. I've never met this guy. I think I might know the gentleman who sent me a direct message on Instagram. I think that might be you, I'm not sure. But regardless, he said, I've watched all Kevin's videos like 36 times and I'm coming to you guys because I want to foster to adopt. And they were so, I was so surprised and Bridget, the director here, was just like, thank you for doing what you're doing. And she said, you know, that's because of you, you're making a difference. And John, thank you for watching these videos and, and the support and the love. Um, this is a really hard process, you know, even with baby yes today, we got some hard news about his case and I'm doing what I got to do to protect him. But at the end of the day, this is about changing lives for kids. So yeah. All right. Let me get the rest of this stuff. Oh my God. We just went to CVS and this is two, two screaming babies in CVS. We're going home. They're hungry, I get it, they're hungry. But I had to pick up their medicine or his medicine and let's go home. Let's go home. Okay, so we are, it has been a long couple of days. It is Saturday, late afternoon. We just went on a walk with baby L and baby S and Lake down there. So this little man was in the stroller. He woke up. Baby S was um, in the carrier. He fell asleep. When this little guy woke up, I was like, I'm gonna do a switcheroo. Thank God Lake sat down and was good. And then um, baby S stayed asleep. I was able to Hold them at the same time while picking one up, putting them down, all that stuff. Take off the carrier with one baby in my hand. It was crazy, but we did it. And, and this has been a great walk. So this is the end of the day. I'm going to be going inside and um, <sighs> he needs to eat. And from there, let this guy, baby S, sleep as long as he wants. Um, and I need to eat, I need to rest, I'm tired. But there will be more to come after this. So many more journeys. But welcome baby L to this family of ours. <laughs> Crazy. And we cannot forget Carly inside the house. So. Thanks for watching everyone. Peace out.